We are back at 724 with local film critic Dale Pollock to talk about, first, the Adams Family. Good morning, Brianna. Good morning. Uh, the Adams Family, well, you know, it's been around since 1938, which is when Charles Adams originally depicted this family in cartoons in The New Yorker. Since then, we've seen several TV series and two previous movies, live action. Now we're back to animated. I've got to tell you, I think this is the best one. It is so well written. The script is very clear. Ever. All the voices are good, particularly Chloe Grace Moretz as Wednesday, the little daughter. And, you know, it's unclear what this family actually does, but in this movie, it's all about being accepted, being an outsider, and then becoming accepted. But the script is funny, and all the actors do a really terrific job. So I was very pleasantly surprised by this Adams family, and I hope they don't do a sequel. They just <laughs> leave it alone as it is, because this has been recycled so many times now. After a while, it begins to lose steam. This film still kept up the humor and the uniqueness of the characters. It's really more adult humor than kid humor, so I'm not sure little kids are really going to relate mm -hmm. to this very well, but if you have like a 10 or 11 year old, this is a terrific film to take them to. Perfect for the Halloween season, right? Yes. And then next, Jim and I, man. Well, sometimes movies that have been around and not gotten made for about 20 years, there's a reason why. And that's the, the case with Gemini Man. At, at one point, Clint Eastwood was going to do this. Johnny Depp. It's been through about 10 actors. It finally ended up with Will Smith. And the only remarkable thing about this film is the digital Will Smith playing his younger self. He is a completely digital creation. Will Smith physically did the two roles, but they took footage from young Will Smith from Independence Day, even Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and put that on his face, and it is uncanny. And sometimes it's a little disturbing to see them in a scene together, particularly when they have a fight scene. I don't know how they filmed that one with Will Smith doing both roles. But this is the first film we've had a total digital character. Mm -hmm. He is not a flesh and blood human being. He's a digital construct. And it works for the film. Unfortunately, nothing else does. Mm -hmm. This film is slow. I didn't feel an iota of emotional identification. And I didn't feel a moment of dramatic tension. So the movie's there. It's fun to watch Will Smith do these things. But otherwise, it's a rather uninspired kind of sci-fi movie and the only interest is how they did it. Yeah, that digital aspect, I do not understand. And it. we're going to be seeing a whole lot more of that. This film is largely financed by the Chinese. They are really developing this uh, technology to be able to do 3D with one person playing multiple roles. Wow, technology. All right, thank you so much for stopping by, Dale. For more movie reviews, you can head to Dale's website, dalempollock.com.